How's it going boys? Welcome everybody back to another Objectives guys. So today we'll be looking at the new 95 rated Summer Stars Yeri Amina. Now I can't lie, EA have been smashing these objectives out and we actually have not had an online objective for a wee while but you guys seem to be liking these objective guys even though they're not online. You guys seem to be still liking them which I do appreciate all the support on these videos. Before you get into this as well, I just want to ask if you guys do get anything from this, make sure to drop a like and subscribe because we're trying to hit 7k before for FIFA 20 ends. So it'll be tight. But starting off boys, if you do not know how the series works, we look over all of the objectives. We then go ahead and build a team between 20 and 30,000 coins. Obviously, if you guys have like players in your club, then use that. But we will be building a 20 to 30,000 coin squad for those more casual players that maybe do not have crazy players or just need some help. We will have a little squad builder in there. And then I'll give you guys some tips and also a really good squad battles tip, which can obviously help you beat the world class difficulty. But if we will do boys, let's get into it. Starting off assist and score using a player with at least 4 star weak foot and 4 separate matches on world class. 4 separate matches not too bad at all and obviously assist and score um, you can use different players you can assist with one player with a 4 star weak foot and score it with a player with a 4 star uh, weak foot and that will count as score and assist um, because it is players with plural S but you could obviously just do it with one player it's, it's easy enough. Score 15 goals in squad battles on at least professional score a finesse goal in 7 and separate squad battle wins and assist using a through ball in 10 separate squad battle games so straight away it is going to take a minimum of and most likely a maximum but it's going to take at least 10 squad battle games so if you go to a calculator uh, each game is 12 minutes 6 minutes a half but we'll just round up to 15 um, because you're obviously in between games and loading up so it's 150 minutes so basically two to two and a half hours worth of a grind for this card in squad battles I mean, my no, first of all, my number one tip, this is an actual tip, but my number one tip and what I like to do, I don't do too much objectives these days, um, but when I did do lots of, of, of objectives earlier on in the game, literally chuck a Netflix film on, chuck a series on, chuck a Twitch stream on, chuck a YouTube, like a YouTube video on, and literally just, you know, grind squad battles. It is boring, but hey, just have something that can entertain you. Without further ado, boys, let's get into the squad builder. So boys, this is one of the objectives where you literally do not need any type of players. Uh, we've just gone for a full Premier League team does not have to be a Premier League team, you could build a cheap little Serie A team, you could you could build a cheap little League 1 team, literally just search League 1 strikers like so, but for the sake of the video and for the sake of you guys, we have built a Premier League team just because A, it's simple, easy, and I'll get into why I've gone with these particular strikers and cams in a minute. So this is currently coming in at roughly 25 to 30,000 coins, as I said, literally just search your club, you can have any team, you could use your main team if you really want to, but as I said, the squad builder is for the more casual, so if you guys have already got a team sorted literally skip it skip ahead a couple minutes if you do not want to uh, look at this and, and go for the tips or skip ahead until you like find my tips and all that good stuff but this is for those of you that want a squad builder that you may not have a squad but you've only got 30k this is for you guys up front we have gone for Richarlison now he's four star five star the main reason we've gone for him is because he's got that five star weak foot has to be at least four star weak foot so we do pair him with Ings who has also got a four star weak foot left cam we've got Madison four star weak foot and at right cam we have got Madison Mason Mount, who's four-star weak foot. Uh, Mason Mount and Madison are actually the two only other cams, I think, under 82 rated with a four-star weak foot. Uh, so we've just gone for the two cams and the two strikers. We've made sure they've all got four-star weak foot so you can assist and score, get them done much very, very easily. I'll probably just try and target Richarlison because out of a lot, he's definitely the best attacker. Um, but you can say, for example, you can assist with Madison, who's got the four-star weak foot, to Richarlison, who scores it, and that is literally that objective done for that game. Or you can assist assist from Mason Mount to Ings, Mason Mount to Richardson, you get it. Um, but literally the two cams and the strikers is where you want to be scoring and assisting from. Now as for the CDMs, we've just gone for Ndombele, he looks a really, really solid card. And we have gone for Fred, who at the beginning of the game was absolutely fantastic. And like I, like, like I said as well, ladies, you do want to be getting the through balls done, which you can just be doing with any players, it does not matter. Defensively, this does not matter at all, we've just gone for a relatively meta Premier League defense. We've gone for Sergio Regulian, I believe it is, from Tottenham. We've gone for Rudiger, uh, Ru Rudiger, uh, we've gone from Rudiger, who, I mean, he's actually really good, I can't lie, he's underrated lads, in-game, medium high, 6 foot 3, and I mean, 70 pace ain't too bad, Joe Gomez as well, we all know is a cheat code, and at right back, it's either Hector Bellerin or Reese James, Hector Bellerin is a little bit inflated in price right now, so we have gone ahead and chosen Reese James, and in net, it is a man himself, saves with feet, 6 foot 7, Nick Pope, so boys, this is a team, if you guys obviously
obviously want to copy this, but like I said, genuinely, this is one of the objectives. You could use your main team if you want to. Literally, I could go into my red and bar. It does not matter. There's no requirements, all right? So use your main team if you really want to. But for the second tip, I mean, if you guys do go ahead to use this team, try to get some players on the bench. If you've got some super subs, you know, lying around, uh, like a red Mbappe, I doubt you guys will, but if you guys got like, you know, a, even an 85 Werner, just a super sub along those lines. But lads, hopping into the first tip, it is simply going to be chemistry styles. Once again, I have to say this every time, I am not sponsored by Footbin. I wish I was a hey, Footbin. Hit me up, lads. Hit me up. But now for real though, Footbin, lads, um, is actually a really good app. You can basically search chem styles. You can apply chem styles. So my number one tip is going to be chemistry styles. Check your club for some. Let's take Richarlison, for example, an 81 gold rare. Now on Footbin, you can, let's say we realistically, let's say we put a hunter on him. He goes to an 85 rated striker in game. He goes to 95 free pace, 92 finishing, so it significantly makes him, it makes him feel four ratings better in game if that makes sense, and it doesn't have to be a sniper, for example, if you chuck a marksman, he goes to an 86 rated uh, striker, a powerhouse, I mean a powerhouse, I don't know why you'd, why you'd do that, a dead eye would go to an 86 rated striker, you don't have to go out and buy hunters and, and all of that, because I like one to two thousand coins, search your club, you might have some chem styles lying around, even if you just chuck a finisher on him, that'll make his finishing a lot better, and it will significantly make them better in a game. Now, lads, this is why this, I find lots of people do watch these uh, squad battle objective guides for this main reason. Now, squad battles, um, world class difficulty is what you want to be playing it on. You can do professional for the professional ones, but then you're missing out on the world class ones. So, you may as well just do it all on world class. So, what you want to do is, as you can see, you've got a 93 Raiders squad and a 94 Raiders squad. You do not want to be facing these because these are absolutely nuts teams, and even I would sometimes struggle on a world class against this team. It's just a full prem squad. Squad. Um, but you want to keep refreshing, right? So I've got a 70 rated squad with 68 chemistry. This shouldn't be too hard to be on world class. Um, no, nah, okay, no, this should be easy. It's literally just, I don't know why this is a 70, uh, to be fair, I mean, this is not a good team at all, so you should be able to beat this on world class. You've got Higuain on uh, full chemistry, and you've got a 72 pace, 7 chem striker up front, you know what I mean? So a world class, you should be able to beat this on world class, make sure it is on world class difficulty, and obviously you can play the game that way. Um, and then basically, if you guys don't know, I can't right now, because I've not played a single game, but as soon as you play that game, you have the option by pressing square on PS, uh, uh, PS4 and I believe it is it could be X on Xbox basically the cross button we'll just say that and after you've played that one game in squad battles you can press that x or square and it will give you a new batch you can refresh your squad battle games and it'll keep giving you new batches of teams what you want to do is basically avoid the high rated teams and just keep playing the low rated teams because like i said world class difficulty will be not too challenging on i mean full bronze squads with a goalie playing on two chemist striker um, also as well, I, I've got a question quite a bit. What happens if you keep refreshing and it goes over 40 games limit? You, it will still count towards your objectives. All it means is you will no longer get points for, you know, Elite 3, Elite 1, Elite 2, Squad Battle Rewards and all of that good stuff. Now, let's having another brief look over the objectives just to confirm that this team will obviously work. I mean, obviously it will because you can use any team. We've got the assist and score using players with at least 4-star weak foot. So like I said, both our strikers and cams are 4-star weak foot. Score 15 goals, you can literally just get that within, I mean, two matches if you really want to. Score a finesse goal, which is obviously a right bumper uh, and shoot, and then through assist or through talent assist using a through ball in 10 separate squad battle matches. Literally, once again, a through ball with Y or circle, or Y or circle, Y or triangle, I believe it is. Just use that with absolutely anyone in your team. Lads, this is a very, very easy objective guide. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. Like I said, this is a lot easier than usual. You guys still seem to like these, um, but like I said, that squad builder is literally for the casual community that may not have a team or you're not too sure but you guys are safe you can use your main team if you want to just make sure you've got the four star weak foot strikers and the cams up front it's been your boy davis and until next time lads i'll see you later peace up with